Welcome to this demonstration of a new technology, VetScan Imagist, now with AI Blood Smear. To get started, make sure your scanner is connected to the network and is powered on. Next, we're gonna move over to our practice information management software, then locate the animal's chart and record for whom we're going to run a test following an abnormal CBC result. In this case, we're going to enter the treatment code for AI Blood Smear for a test for Cody a dog with a patient ID of 1328. The next step is to prepare a blood smear using industry best practices. After properly preparing your slide and allowing it to air dry, you will need to stain your slide. Once the slide is prepped and stained, add a cover slip. Refer to our how-to videos on preparing a blood smear slide in the user's guide. Include a meaningful label or handwritten text on the slide. Now log in to VetScan Imagist. Select Scan for the correct sample. Sample information will come pre-populated from any Fuse connected software system. If no integration is available, select the Add Test icon. Enter the required information and select Create. Then select Scan for the correct sample. With VetScan Imagist, you have access to AI fecal parasite tests, digital cytology, and now you have access to AI blood smear, including the possibility to request an add-on expert review. Next, type in the red blood cell count from your CBC report to ensure the Imagist can provide an estimate of the polychromatophils, which gives us an indication of the number of reticulocytes. Select a scanner, then place the slide on the scanner stage. Now, before you can place a slide, the stage needs to be in an open position. If it's closed, you can return to VetScan Images and click on the open tray button. With the locking mechanism open, place the slide with the label towards the right side of the stage and facing up. And then close the locking mechanism. Return to VetScan Images and click on the Preview button. When the preview appears, review the suggested scan area and estimated time to scan. Adapt if necessary by moving one of the blue dots to a different position. If the scan area and estimated scan time are acceptable, click Continue, and the scanner will take it from there. Click Close. Your test order has now been submitted. The test status can be seen in the inbox in the Pending Orders section. At the top of the inbox, you will notice four tabs. One is labeled Ready for Review. When the AI report is finished, the result will appear under this tab. If you find your specific test order and click on the Review button, the report will open in the Report Viewer. Imagist will automatically select the four best images to include. You can select additional images which you want to include in the PDF report. There is an opportunity to review the slide yourself. When you scroll to the bottom, you have the option to flag the result. A flagged result alerts us to look at the image for future algorithm training. Now finalize the report. This indicates that you have seen the report. The report will now move from the Ready to Review tab to the Test History tab. Anyone can review the report from within VetScan Images with a shareable PDF report. Once the results have been transferred over, the report can be accessed within VetScan Fuse along with other diagnostic results. And finally, the report is sent to your practice information management system for Cody, patient ID 1328. This completes the test order. If you need a second opinion on any of your AI blood smear tests, you now have the ability to request an add-on expert review. Once the test is created, 
within your practice information management system, go to the VetScan Imagist inbox and select Start for the correct sample. If no integration is available, the test can be created within VetScan Imagist with the Add Test icon. Enter the same patient ID and name from the AI blood smear. Select Add on Expert Review and click Create. The most recent results from the patient will be automatically selected. Verify the selection and click Select Test. Enter information for the patient's breed, age, and gender. The patient's species is already set. Include a brief clinical history. Next, click on the pre-populated sample card to add additional information. You can attach additional files that the pathologist might find useful. Click Attach Files and upload any JPEG or PDF. We strongly recommend attaching the corresponding blood work, including the CBC and chemistry reports. When those files have been uploaded, click Close and click Submit Order. Your test has now been submitted and the reports will be available in the Ready for Review section as soon as it is finished by the pathologist. After reviewing, select Acknowledge. The report is now available in Fuse and in your practice information management system. You will also have access to a shareable PDF. And that's it, quick and easy. Thank you for your time.